Some CLEP exams are very tricky, like calculus or chemistry or introductory business law, but there are several that are drop dead easy. And if you know which ones to take, you could have college credits later this week for practically free. So allow me to help. First, I've got some honorable mentions for you. We've got human growth and development, intro to psychology, information systems and computer applications, and college mathematics. I took the last three of those myself and found them to be honestly pretty easy to study for, pass them no problem. And most people who take them pass them as well. There's very high pass rates for these tests. And most of the, the CLEP bloggers and CLEP aficionados out there will agree to like, usually these are in the top 10 of just about anybody's list for some of the easiest CLEP tests to pass. Particularly if you know something about computers or mathematics, I would really recommend those last two as ones that would be a really good place for you to start because those are gonna be the easiest ones in those categories in the CLEP catalog. But honorable mentions out of the way, let's reveal the top five. And number five is the Spanish CLEP test. About 91% of people, the highest percentage of any CLEP test, pass this CLEP test when they attempt it. If you know Spanish, if you're fluent in it already, this is gonna seem like an incredibly easy test for you. Of course, if you don't know Spanish that well, it might seem a little bit harder, but speedyprep.com and modernstates.com have some really good study resources that will get you ready to take this test. And I will go ahead and link to those and any other study resources that I mentioned in this video in the description below. The fourth easiest CLEP test is principles of marketing. I took this one back in the day and it took me under two weeks to study for it. I used the REA book to get like a general like overview or grounding in the subject. It was a lot of common sense with like a business flavor. It's basically just about how to sell things to people and to communicate messages to people in like an advertising or marketing sense. It made a lot of sense to my business focused mind. So if you're kind of like a business focused person, I think this CLEP test is gonna be really, really easy for you. In addition, 79% of people who attempt it pass it. So that's pretty good odds. The third easiest CLEP test is my personal favorite, analyzing and interpreting literature. 75% of people pass it. And because I was kind of like a, like a literary kid, like I really liked reading, I passed it at age 14 with about 15 minutes of studying. If you know literary terms and you have like the basic sense needed to analyze poetry or small snippets of stories, this test is really going to be a breeze for you because it's, it's kind of like common sense from a literary poetry perspective. A lot of CLEP bloggers and people label it as the easiest CLEP test out there. And it was the easiest one for me personally. But if you're not literary minded, you know, it might be a little bit harder for you. Like if you're uh, like a more math centered person, if you take this CLEP exam, I would recommend practicing, you know, reading some literature, looking up key terms. And I think that Peterson's practice tests are a really good resource for preparing for this one. The second easiest CLEP exam is Introduction to Sociology. With 80% of people passing this test, it is pretty easy. And I'm not sure why, but sociology just doesn't seem to be that complicated of a subject. It's, again, there's a running theme here. It's a lot of common sense. Peterson's practice test will really set you up to pass this one. But if you know nothing about sociology, modern states or REA might both be really good options for this. The reason that this test is so easy is because, like I said, it's a lot of common sense. It's a lot of them giving you charts or graphs or information about general populations or, you know, sociological ideas. And then you having to analyze that to be able to answer a question. If you can interpret data, especially charts and graphs, and you have a little bit of common sense, you have a big, big head start on being able to pass this CLEP test. The very easiest CLEP exams out there are the college composition and college composition modular exams. The first one requires a written essay. The second one does not. If you're a natural born writer, definitely take the first. And if you're not a natural born writer, remember that colleges tend to prefer the first. Truth be told though, standards are not incredibly high for writing this essay. I was a really bad writer in high school, at least I think so now looking back and I still passed it fine. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. And then the questions are generally gonna be grammar questions and questions about like the writing process itself. The same kind of basic stuff you'd have on a similar test in high school. 
I'm sure some of you feel intimidated by writing because most people do, but 82% of people pass this CLEP exam. So to study for this one, I would recommend that you find somebody who knows something about writing essays, have them time you, give you a prompt, have you write something, and then like let them critique you and tell you what you could have done better. And then I would also go ahead and read Strunk and White's Elements of Style. A lot of the questions and like the style of academic writing that they'll, they'll quiz you on in this test are gonna be mirrored for the most part in this book. Plus, modern states wouldn't be a bad idea either. If you're ready to start testing, go ahead and check out my seven fail-proof CLEP study resources. Or if you aren't that confident as a writer, I actually teach English courses at college. And you're more than welcome to sign up for a consultation with me and I can help you become a better writer as well. Happy hacking.